Numbers chapter number 31 verse number 18 which of course is going to be a difficult verse for my honourable friend and of course I use the term loosely here to explain where Moses is told to go into go into uh, to the town and take the young girls for yourself now what young girls is he talking about here when you look at the Babylonian Talmud which is actually exegetes this particular verse is talking about prepubescent girls so Moses is being instructed yeah, yeah. to take prepubescent girls for yourself so to, for as captives now the idea is this I want to know of a single verse of the Quran or a single hadith where prepubescent girls are told to be taken as captives in this manner in fact not only this but if they believe that uh, they believe that Jesus is God because he is part of the Trinity and therefore he's actually the author of the Old Testament as well isn't he because he's God and he's inseparable from the rest of the Trinity right so of course you have a double problem here Jesus Christ therefore is the one that is commanding Moses to go and take captives which are girls for himself in chapter 31 verse 18 of Numbers so this refutes the secondary claim that he had that Jesus was completely disassociated from these slaves what Moses said Muhammad is that you need to read the verse carefully it wasn't talking about pre-puberty -pre nothing about adolescence or puberty is discussed if you read the verse carefully all that it would talk about is girls or ladies who did not have intimacy with men what was he talking about what he was talking about was those who did not lead you to sexual immorality those kinds of girls I challenge Muhammad why did you mention puberty you need to show me that from the Bible and the Bible talks about intimacy number one number two go to me where these ladies were taken as captives read the Bible carefully what you would find is that everyone else were wiped out whereas these were allowed to live along with the nation of Israel that is what you would find unfortunately you haven't done a good job in answering my interrogation actually the verse says take the little ones for yourself this is chapter 31 verse 18 of numbers take them for yourself and if you're saying this doesn't imply captivity if you're saying this does not imply captivity then you will be going against all halakhic understandings by the Jewish people who have been <coughs> interpreting this for, for decades, in fact, actually millennia. And I will say to you once again, go back to the Je Jerusalem Talmud. There's two Talmuds, the Babylonian one and the Jerusalem one. Go and see what the rabbis have said in, re in relation to this verse. They clearly understood it to mean captivity. Look at how people exegeted the Bible away from this pathetic apologism that you're finding here from these people. You'll find that it's a consistent theme, that they understood it in the way of genocide and captivity and slavery. In fact, racial slavery, which he had the audacity to accuse our prophet of, despite the fact that he's the only man, and Islam is the only religion which categorically forbids racism. And I say that to you, get me one verse of the Bible, which has the equivalent of saying racism is wrong. I can get you a hadith straight away that there's no virtue over an Arab over a non-Arab or a black man over a white man and that the best of you are those most in virtue get me the equivalent of that in the Bible we find the opposite in the Bible yeah. Jesus calling a non-Jewish person a dog because she was a Gentile yeah. that's racism your book is fraught, saturated, filled, contaminated, polluted it is seeping, brimming with racism, brimming with genocide, brimming with racism. You need us, my friend. You don't, we don't need anything from you. You come to us and you ask us, why was everything abrogated in the way it was? Because the Prophet Muhammad eliminated racism, the only person in his time to do so. And it was the only emancipatory discourse of any Abrahamic religion in the world that is Islam. Come to it and stop being arrogant. That's it. Finish.